right guys, Coach Tannis here and I'm at the St. Lawrence Market on Sunday, December the 22nd and that's really interesting because the St. Lawrence Market is not open on Sunday and Monday ever except during the Christmas season uh, if it works out that way. So it's uh, December 22nd today and they've opened it up for the holidays, the Christmas holidays. So I'm going to do uh, a little uh, food history travel uh, video and if you guys like subscribe and share that'll be uh, really good for me because uh, then more people see my video more people will learn from my video and I'll be more motivated to make videos so I'm at the St. Lawrence Market here in Toronto downtown I consider this my second home because uh, I used to uh, again live two minutes away from it so to say that I walked through this building every day it was open would be uh, more in line with the truth than anything so I'm gonna turn this around okay so basically guys if you're in downtown Toronto coming down to the St. Lawrence market you can get yourself some really good food that you can eat now or eat later at home okay we got fresh seafood here okay and fresh meat fresh bread okay uh, so this is one of the places where you talk about street food in Toronto. Let me just walk. We talk about street food in Toronto. You can't talk about street food in Toronto without talking about the St. Lawrence Market. Okay? You come here and get yourself some nice squid, okay, heron, okay, mixed seafood salad, okay? That would be really, really healthy for you. I'm gonna turn this around, okay? That would be really, really healthy stuff for you as opposed to, uh, you know, eating sausages and hot dogs and french fries. You can come here and get yourself some nice fish, swimming in nice essential fats, okay? You want to take food home? Take food home, okay? Mussels, live mussels, okay? So we'll focus today more on food that you can eat when you're on the road, okay? Again, pastries, that's something that you would probably want to avoid is that uh, you'll get fat, okay? As opposed to the person from over here. And uh, yeah, you can get yourself some nice seafood, okay? And that's good. Then you wanna come down here and get some organic meats here, okay? But this is again for takeout, take home, okay? Take home and um, This is where a lot of the people I know come and get their uh, their meat because it's organic. Okay, but the, okay, and then over here you got aged meat. Okay, and you got the cheese guy in the back. Okay, he's a really nice guy. You can come here and get yourself a slice of cheese for lunch or whatever. Again, guys, it gets way better than actually having like you know what usually people have. We'll just go around the corner here, okay? You just tell them to cut you up a piece of cheese, okay? Come over here, share something with your friend, okay? Get something cut, okay? Get some balls, get some feta cheese, cut it up, okay? Go and sit down, okay? Well, that would be something really nice you can have for street food, real food, okay? As opposed to you know what I'm about to say, okay? You can come down here and sit down with your friends and grab a piece of cheese and just cut it up. That's what we would do here back in the day, okay? When I had a lot of friends working downtown, we'd come here after work, get some cheese, get some antipasta, get some olives. I'm gonna show you that place right now, okay? And you eat really, really well, okay? Sure, there's pizza here, there's veal sandwiches here, but why would you want to eat that? Okay? when you know that's going to make you fat okay so it's actually a beautiful day here I'm kind of sad because I was hoping more people would be here it's a beautiful day it's open on Sunday which is never open on Sunday so again I'm kind of glad people are here so this is White House okay White House uh, 
meat market. We should go to the there. Okay. Again, yeah. man, you could just. Uh, well, I'm not much into processed meat, so kind of skip over that. But again, we got some pickles here. Maybe we should come back. Okay. Can I open it? Yeah. Okay. We got pickles. Okay. Get some nice pickles for your lunch. So you got your pickles. You got your cheese. Okay. Come over here. Get your olives. Okay. And you get your prosciutto with. Um, Goat cheese, okay, and you got your uh, olive uh, leaves, olive leaves wrapped in uh, rice, okay. Yeah, it's got carbs, but hey, you know what? That olive leaf goes really well. What's that, artichoke? Okay, so this is the stuff we used to come here, guys. Real food or no food, street food edition, St. Lawrence Market edition, okay. Let's get this going if my battery doesn't run out. So we got the sun-dried tomatoes, okay? We got the eggplant, okay? You have no excuse. When you're near the St. Lawrence Market, you're near food, okay? Look at that. Okay? That's just beautiful, 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 okay? So you come over here, and what do you got there? Chickpeas, okay? No, those are the olives, that's not chickpeas. Then you got the... Anchovies, if that's your thing, it's not my thing, but I'm just saying, okay, it's healthy, okay. This is the bar we used to come to all the time, okay, no joke. We just get ourselves a couple of, uh, fill it up, man, whatever, you get this, I get that, whatever, blah, 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 and you sit down, get some cheese, cut it up. Real food or no food, okay. There's no processed anything here. Okay, this is what our grandparents used to eat. This is why they live to be 100. Okay. Again, you want to get the kale, what's inside? Okay, so you got the Parmigiano cheese, Romano cheese, canola oil. So you don't eat that, okay? Again, when something is packaged, it's packaged food. Okay, come here and get some cheeses. Okay. Get some olives. Okay. And guys, you're not home. So we're talking about being out of the house and being, I wish we say, stuck in a bind, in an awkward position. Because at home you have all your food, right? So if you can get some olives, some goat cheese, some prosciutto, you're, you're good to go, right? What are you going to do? Why wouldn't you eat that? What are you going to eat? A pizza? you're gonna look like but that's basically that end then again more of the same okay more olives anytime you want try out a variety of olives okay some people are just scared to just try out a new new flavor a new uh, variety okay you got Greek you got Spanish you got Italian try them out okay and again you got more antipasti here okay you got some eggplant uh, rolled up with what's inside. There's got to be something inside. There's got to be like a sun-dried tomato there with some uh, mozzarella. Okay. Ooh, lentils. Okay. That's that's really, really good stuff. Okay, what is that? No, those are capers. Sorry. And then you come over here. That's the olive uh, paste. Again, if you don't know what's it made with, made in-house, Greek kalamata, whatever. If it's, you ask the person. If it's made with olive oil, you get it. If it's not made with vegetable oil, you don't. Okay. Sorry, my friend. So you see this gentleman here, he's getting stuff for his family. But that's a real man. That's a real man feeding his family. Okay? Feeding his family really healthy stuff and putting it in there. As opposed to people that feed their kids hot dogs and stuff like that. Okay? That's a real man. Okay? That guy's my hero of the day. Yeah, I'll smoke I know. More cheese, okay? And that's where you stick with the traditional cheeses. Try something new, okay? You got mustard here. This family, uh, this mustard here is uh, made in Toronto for uh, Cosmics. I think it's been making uh, for a long, long time, man. Eh? Maybe 40, 50 years. Cos oh, there it is. Cosmics, uh, 1948. Uh, but I think the old man sold the, the business a little while ago. So um, you got a variety of different kind of uh, 
mustard or whatever. But of course you would choose the one with no sugar in it, right? Hey, do you have a mustard with no sugar in it? There's sugar in all of them now? Maybe we should get the old man back and get the old recipe. With sugar? With no sugar. Most of them have no sugar. We have a small list of one fish. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. I'm like, what's taking so long? Yeah, I was thinking, so most of them have no sugar. Yeah, like it's there just you go. <laughs> Yeah, okay. No, I'm doing a street food edition, and I know we, uh, we used to always have this on our... Uh, yeah, just avoid ones with honey, maple syrup, um, the lemon basil, and the cranberry. Yeah, when I got when I brought the honey one over for the kids, they got addicted to it. I'm trying to shave them up. Uh, uh, yeah, so that was a little bit of a controversy there. But yeah, <laughs> so most of them are made with no sugar. Most of them, yeah. Okay, it's just so the honey ones and the, the two fruity ones because they're fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so these are the uh, cosmic guys. Okay, so you know, uh, come here. Okay, get yourself a real one. That's a triple crunch. Then you stay up there. So you just come here and talk to the ladies, and you get what you know something that's sugar-free, and you're good to go. Okay, so that would be like a condiment that would be like a regular condiment because uh, I think Canada is the biggest producer of uh, mustard seeds, anyways. Okay, again, if you want to get some meat, there's no shortage of places here to get meat. Okay. You, uh, I suggest for real food or no food, street food edition, St. Lawrence Market edition, I would suggest you get become friends with some of these butchers here. And you can see some of these nice figs, okay? So instead of eating junk outside, you come over here and you grab some figs, right? She knows what she's doing. And then you just ask them to wash the blueberries. Why wouldn't you wash them, right? And there you go. So again, why don't you cut up real food or no food, come over here and cut up, uh, get a avocado, two for five, and then um, share one with your friend, okay? What if you want dessert? What's wrong with having like a real dessert, guys? A real dessert, like, <laughs> you guys know what a real dessert is? Okay, so here we are, get some figs, okay? Get some figs, I know it's really sugary, but trust me, you'll get a nice er carb load from real natural sugars as opposed to that high fructose stick. Real food or no food, okay? Come over here, get some pomegranate. I know, it's lunchtime. You're too busy to cut up your own pomegranate and wash it or whatever. So that would be pretty good, okay? As opposed to Pooza Terry's that charges you $7 for something like that. Three fifty dollars isn't bad. And again, you're out of the house, right? I should pick up some chestnuts for the family. They look really nice. Okay, so again, real food or no food, you come over here and there's lots of options to... Okay, we're talking about food that you can eat now, right? So lunch, dinner, whatever, you're on the street, you're out on the go, okay. And if you want to be really hardcore like we used to do, we would actually get garlic. <laughs> okay, we get garlic and uh, take the bulbs and start eating them right on the spot with our uh, antipasta. Okay. And um, yeah, that's why we're big and strong and we had no problems, okay? We're talking about eating on the go. There's no problems with you getting a garlic, okay? They're wrapped up, they're in a bulb. All you gotta do is open it up and eat it, okay? Simple, okay? So you can find yourself any vegetables and fruits here what you want to say, okay, and you just ask them if they can wash it for you, and they're uh, good to go. So you got your avocados, okay, you got your garlic, okay, you got your cheese. So far a lot of fat, a lot of nutrition, okay, but guys, it's better than actually eating at a restaurant for $35 where you're not going to be satisfied, you know what I mean? You got your... Uh, Again, if you're going to have a dessert, why don't you just have like a pineapple or something? If you're scheduled here after your workout and you want some carbs, that's what you want. Have real carbs, man. Okay? So, there's your pomegranate. But I mean, again, you're not going to start opening up pomegranate on the street. Okay? There's your figs. There's your fruits. Okay? And there you go. Okay? Just ask them to wash it. 
okay and again you stay away from the processed stuff so real food or no food okay you can come down here and grab real fruits a real apple a real avocado real garlic okay sit down somewhere and cut it up get yourself some blueberries tell the guy to wash it they got a washing thing right there say hey you know what we're gonna be here can you wash it for me I guarantee you they'll wash it for you okay cherries you want to sit down like a gentleman okay like a decent human being and not eat hot dogs and schnitzels and uh, and uh, thing you have you come outside with the cherries man you'll be like a king people treat you like this guy knows what's up okay if you bring donuts and cookies and stuff like that people look at you like hey man are you trying to kill me you know what I mean now my Portuguese friend here he's here for a long time okay so this is where they make rotary seed chicken okay I'm gonna try and pass by okay so he makes sandwiches like this but he puts his sauce it's a thing. Now, if you're going to be like in a fast food situation, I'm going to go down. Look at you front there. You can see he's roasting up the chicken back there. Okay. And uh, roasting up the chicken right in front of you. Right there. And then he cuts it up. Okay. He's got his homemade sauce, which uh, he hasn't disclosed the recipe to me, but I know he's promised me it's not that bad. I believe him. I've been eating here for 20 something years. Okay, uh, not in the last, I think last, I think, I think this year I had maybe one just to try it out and I was just sitting and talking to him. But again, guys, when I used to come to St. Lawrence Market all the time, this was like the healthiest, not what I'm talking about, cheese and olives and stuff like that. I'm talking it was like the healthiest uh, in terms of like if you're gonna have a sandwich on the go, quickie, okay, beats the donuts and stuff like that, okay. He used to make it really nice. And um, the bread is like a chorizo uh, uh, Portuguese bread. It's got a tomato inside, lettuce. It's really good. Okay, it's not super, super healthy, but it's not no uh, bagel or hot dog like this kid's doing. Okay, horrible, 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 horrible. Somebody would say, no, your grandmother's such in good shape. Of course my grandmother's in good shape, man. We feed her some real stuff. Real food or no food, okay? Come here and you get some nuts, okay? So this guy's really expensive though, I'll be warning you ahead of, uh, ahead of time, okay? So you come here and you get some uh, walnuts, cashews, okay? And um, you got some fresh pecans, okay? And uh, he has dates too, where's his dates? Yeah, there he is, he's got, this guy's dates fall off the bone. Okay, real food or no food, okay? St. Lawrence Market Edition. You come down here and you get some nuts, you get some dates, prunes, okay? And that would be like a beautiful dessert that you could say, hey, you know what? Trust me, we do that once in a while. We get the, the pigs, okay? And uh, we get some dates, okay? Really expensive though. Okay, the Iranian pistachios, okay? And that's it. And that would be your snack. So let's just say you're out on the road and you come here to St. Lawrence Market. Just scoop up. These are expensive though, but these are probably one of the freshest in town. Um, I'll expand later on that. But you cannot go wrong eating those dates and the nuts here. Okay. Nice Greek guy that runs this shop for a long, long time. I'm not even going to bother going inside because you're probably going to piss at me for having a camera. You don't really need to go inside. You got everything you need right here. You get the nuts, get the dates, okay? Go we'll ask, how much is it? And, uh, all right. So, for home guys, <laughs> real food or no food, okay? You come here. Again, there's a lot of butchers here. I'm not just single out this guy, but you would get like a bacon because I know a lot of people don't even know what bacon looks like, okay? No, I think people do. I don't know what they, I don't think they know what bacon looks like, so I'm teaching them. <laughs> so, come over here, get the bacon, let it slice. There's no chemicals, it's not bathed in anything, okay? So there you go. You got the nuts, you got the bacon, you got the avocado, you got the garlic, okay? Again, pastry. This is where people run to, okay? Although I don't mind this bakery here, he's a pretty good guy, he's a nice guy. The old scones, no thanks. Again. Alright. So, again, this is like a world famous female bacon on a bun. A lot of people come here for the female bacon. Okay. 
I would go for that over uh, <laughs> the hot dogs and sausages of any day. Okay, and then you got fun guys here. Again, we're back to the cheeses. Again, you're out of the house, right? So you're not gonna, not everything's gonna be perfect. Okay, and this guy's a nice cheese guy. Again, olives. Okay, so you get your olives. There's a guy around the phone. I'm gonna go down after. Okay, spicy. Okay, real food or no food, guys. Real food or no food. I'm gonna speed this up. We got the uh, really, eh? Hmm. So again, dessert. You get your raspberry. You get your your uh, your uh, strawberries if you can find them. Okay. Okay. And then this guy here, he sells pizza, but he pissed me off a couple years ago because uh, when he first opened up, I came here and I got pasta from him because he said he makes the pasta here. And then what he did was he put the pasta in the plastic container, which I hated to begin with. And then after that, he put my pasta inside the microwave. Oh, there's a the legendary microwave right there. Okay, so we've got the sauce. You can see everything's not fresh. That's not what fresh lasagna looks like, guys. That's not what fresh lasagna looks like. I make lasagna, I know what it looks like. Okay, so. You wanna be making sure that whatever you're gonna eat is gonna be fresh, okay? That's not fresh, I don't care what he tells me, okay? What is it now, one o'clock, two o'clock, okay? I'll make you fresh lasagna, I'll show you what it looks like. So, come over here, okay? Sea bass on a kebab, you can take these home, okay? Look like a champ. Wait, anchovy filet, okay? So if you're in a seafood thing and you just need a bit of variety or you want to try something new, okay? Lots of things to try here, okay? It's not my particular, got an octopus salad here. Again, you gotta ask what's the fat that they're using in it. If it's vegetable oil, you don't wanna do that, okay? You gotta make sure they're not loading it up with something that you don't eat because there's no point in paying for something really expensive and then negating the effect because you're eating it with um, oils that are basically damaging your health. So here we are. These guys are professionals, okay? They're eating, um, see? It's good. That's what I'm talking about. Sit over there with your oyster, okay? Go and have some wine, go ahead, man. It's Easter, it's Christmas, it's whatever. Enjoy yourself. Nobody said you can't do that, okay? But when you start downing liquor with sugars, and then you complain that you're sick, then you're not gonna have a good time, okay? Teriyaki beef stir fry, okay? I know, I know, I know. But, you know, for some people that are in a hurry, this is the place you would come, okay? And it beats what, you know, the stuff that I'm showing you for real food. Or no food or street food, okay? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, guys. Where else did I want to take you? So this is the bakery here. Actually, my friend used to own this, and uh, they sold it. So again, this is where most people come. They want sugar, they feel stressed out, okay? That reminder, I'll just go downstairs and show you what's going on, okay? So basically, it's all bread, it's all carbs. So if you haven't eaten and you want to eat, if you're eating carbs, basically what's going to happen is, after you eat this stuff, besides the fact that there's zero nutrition there, is that uh, basically, um, basically in an hour, hour and a half, you're probably going to create more sugar because your blood sugar went up, your blood sugar goes down, okay? If you compare my baklava to that, that's not even baklava, that's an embarrassment, okay? That's not baklava, man, okay? That's another thing, guys, when you learn to cook and you're cooking, okay? That's the old building up there, okay? So this is more meat, okay? You want to come down here, but again, it has to be cooked, right? But I think there's a guy over here, yeah, okay, he's cutting up some meat, but he also cuts up uh, sausages and stuff like that. And I'm not sure how he makes them because he hasn't told me. But I think there's some roast beef here. 
K, some ribs, barbecue lunch, baker's pan, get some ribs. You come here, K, and you're good to go. Sorry. And you got some bacon here, K side bacon. That's going to be a sandwich, right? You don't get the sandwich because you don't want the bread. You just tell them to load it up, put it on the side, get some mustard or whatever there. Bacon, mustard, side with crispy skin, okay, cool. So, real food or no food, okay? So, go over there and get some real bacon because I think most of you guys don't even know what real bacon is because you probably don't even know what a pig looks like, okay? No offense, okay? Female bacon, that's what it is. You tell them how much you want, how do you want it cut, okay? So, I used to have roast beef here though before, I'm pretty sure he did. But anyways, again, you're not at home, right? Get some ribs cut up. This guy's selling, uh, this guy's selling some nice stuff too. Okay, there you go. Again, you want to know what they're cooking it in. Is it sugar? Some people do like brown sugar. Some people put vegetable oil. Ask. If it's not up to your liking, don't eat it. Go back to what's not processed. That will take you back to the avocados. Um, that will take you back to the avocados and the cheese. Okay, you gotta ask. And if they don't answer, then you know what to do. Okay. I'm gonna restart this video for a sec. Hold on. All right, we re 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 restarted because uh, my camera only allows for 30 minutes uh, recording time. So I'm gonna head that downstairs. So this is basically what you got upstairs. You got lots of fruits and vegetables. Okay, not as much meat as you would uh, think for a market like this because we're at St. Lawrence Market here in Toronto. Okay, not as much meat as you uh, would be hoping. Okay, uh, I would like to see some guy make roast beef and. Uh, steak all cooked up all ready for me but uh no that's not happening again more desserts okay don't get me started with this place okay <laughs> you can see how expensive everything is okay and it's all sugar okay all sugar and then this guy here is an interesting story too because um this is the this is the veal sandwich place okay and one time the two, there used to be chairs sitting right there and one time i was sitting right there like i said i used to come here all the time because uh i lived there an old man that used to run this place okay nothing's fresh before he used to make it fresh it's just sitting there all gummed up for you okay yeah so basically the guy was making the um, the sauce and uh, he was pouring sugar and sugar and sugar into it and uh, so you can come over here and get yourself a nice salad okay this is downstairs on the second floor get yourself a souvlaki real food or no food get yourself a souvlaki again if you don't know what the potato is swimming in you don't touch it okay you got the uh, beans here okay if you don't know what it's in okay and okay eggs bacon croissant you ditch the croissant okay if they're making the beans nice these guys are great stuffed peppers real food or no food again the whole idea is to know what they're cooking them in you can't go wrong with just getting a souvlaki okay just like flat out just can't go wrong <laughs> get some salad on the side and there's your real food or no food st lawrence market edition okay so this is usually the bakery here this bakery is usually packed okay they say they use uh, organic uh, stuff like that but uh, i'm not so sure about that because uh, the last time i got my grandmother something here uh, there was a lot of grease on the end of the on the end of the bag there's too much grease for my liking so i never came back and uh, this bakery has a good reputation, although, again, if you know how to cook and you know what's going on, then your definition of a, of a nice place and my definition are two different places, okay? So, true story. I got my grandmother uh, something here a little while ago, maybe about a month ago, and um, it was too greasy on the bag, and I actually, when I came back, I told her, she goes, what do you expect, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you know what, that shows me that there's too much oil, too much vegetable oil, and um, that's not 
what I feed my family. Okay, so sometimes you might see what I'm making my uh, my uh, muffins at home, and then I break them up with my own hands. Okay, you might notice that uh, I go back and forth with my hands, and you might notice that there's no grease. Okay, because we limit the amount of fat that we put in our food, right? So the other day, what we made cookies, 18 cookies, and I think we only used the. Uh, quarter cup or even a half cup of uh, we use vegetable oil for that one okay because it wasn't like uh, I'm pretty sure we use vegetable oil on that one okay and uh, did we I'm pretty sure I'll find out but anyway sometimes you got to use vegetable oil in terms of uh, how you're gonna cook it right so as opposed to the real recipe called for over a cup or maybe two cups of, uh, of uh, vegetable oil okay so then we're downstairs so we're here okay you want to grab a fruit, a fruit would be better than those pastries, okay? A fruit would be better than those pastries, okay? And I know for nuts you got to be very careful because you don't know if they've been roasted or um, what do you call it? Uh, if they put them in vegetable oil to um, prolong the expiry date, okay? So some of these guys are eating, for example, walnuts and the walnuts are cracked. So that's not really good because the walnuts have their own monosaturated fat and um, once you crack the shell, you're exposed it to air and once you're exposed to air, that fat gets rancid. So this is where you want to stay away from, dried fruits, okay. <laughs> this is not what you want, man. Real food or no food, okay? St. Lawrence Market Edition, Street Food Edition, so you just want to stay away from obviously chocolate, okay? And you want to know... Um, you know, this stuff has been laced with, uh, what's it been laced with, right? So, if you want to know what's inside it, if they can't tell you what's inside it, then you're not going to eat it. Dried fruits are a no-no because uh, all the fiber is gone, all the hydration is gone. It's all, all, all sugar, okay? So guys, if you come to the St. Lawrence Market, which I hope you did today because it's uh, Sunday, December the 22nd, and you're supporting these guys because they're never open on the weekend, uh, on Sunday, sorry. Okay. Uh, I get really mad when people don't support the St. Lawrence Market, okay? Because it's basically like Toronto's food terminal, okay? And uh, there you go, like you see a lot of sugar there. That's not what you want, okay? Real food or no food, okay? Got a guy here selling, uh, again, man, you just can't do that, okay? It's sweet, sweet, sweet. You can't do that, man. You just can't do that. Fresh corn rib, you, like, you can't. You're gonna get diabetes off stuff like that, okay? This guy sells, uh... Yeah, I'm not even gonna go there, I don't like this guy. No, this guy, I don't like. Cause, uh... Okay, guys, you gotta understand, when you have a farm like I do, <laughs> and you know what, you know, we used to produce honey. Okay, our farm used to produce honey, we no longer do. So, you're not gonna tell us about honey. This guy over here was trying to sell honey for like uh, 500 millil milliliters for like 40 bucks, telling me it's from Sweden, telling me it's organic, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, real food or no food, here's some tips. If it sounds like bullshit, it probably is bullshit, okay? <laughs> organic honey from Sweden, 40 bucks. I said, buddy, when we're making honey, when we, we're making our desserts, we're making syrups like baklava, we we'll use real honey, of course, okay? You're telling me a whole tray of baklava would cost us like 100 bucks, 150 bucks? Because your honey from uh, Sweden, that's supposedly organic. You didn't tell me what farm it's from, you didn't tell me nothing. So we got in a little bit of a... <clears throat> you know what I mean? Again, if it sounds like bullshit, it is bullshit. So... That's the St. Lawrence Market, guys. Used to be a lot better, but still great. It still should be supported, okay? Still lots of great food to get here. A lot of butchers to get to know, okay? You build a rapport with them, you know what they're doing. But they'll tell you what farm it comes from. They'll take care of you, they'll call you up. They'll have it all prepared for you, okay? As opposed to sometimes, you know, when you go to these places and you get meat, because they're looking for the best value when they're buying stuff, the meat taste and texture doesn't always come out the same. 
as opposed to these guys, you know. They're dealing with the farmers, they know what's going on. Everybody's friends with everybody. Again, stay away from the deli meat. Anything processed is a no-no. Okay. Again, this looks like it's glazed. Okay? So if it's glazed, pork pulled, Montreal, glazed. Okay? So if it's glazed, glazed with what? Honey, sugar. Okay? You don't want any meat with any sauces on it. Okay? This guy over here looks like there's no no sauces on it. Okay? Guys, I'm going to call it a quits. And that's basically the St. Lawrence market here. Okay? And so if you're downtown and you need somewhere to eat, if you're close to the St. Lawrence market, that's what I would do. I would come down here, get some nice cheeses, the pickles, okay, and uh, olives, get yourself some. Depends what you're in, man. If you feel like you got a sweet tooth and whatever, I have no objections to you going and getting a real dessert, which is like a fruit or a vegetable, something sweet, and you come down here, okay? You get the antipasta, okay? <laughs> okay, get the antipasta, and you get your, uh, your eggplants, okay? Just ask them around, okay? Olive leaves, okay? And you're good to go, okay? And that way you don't eat junk. So that way when you go to the gym and you want to lose fat and you're training hard, you're not ruining it with that hot dog that you ate that's causing of a huge, yeah, getting you fat, nutrient partitioning, and then coming here and saying, oh, it's the festive season, let's have dessert. Let's well, not. Let's not. Why don't we go back to my kitchen? We'll make dessert. How about that? What? What's the difference? It's the things that make me shake my head like that. Okay? You see my desserts are made with like four or five ingredients max. Okay? With as little oil as possible. Okay? And little sugar as possible. And then we used real almonds, real walnuts for... Okay? And you can actually taste the ingredients in my uh, in, in, in our dessert. So basically guys, one more time, if you're here at the St. Lawrence Market... <laughs> fuck. If you're here at the St. Lawrence Market... Okay? Lots of food here for you. Just come in and have a good time. Walk around. Okay? If you're in a hurry, the first floor is always better than the second floor. And then get to know people. Like this guy here I know, he gets stuff for my mom. Okay? And uh, there's people here that I've introduced, people that have moved to Canada, okay? And they come here, and they never heard of the St. Lawrence Market until we sat down and started talking about food and blah, blah, blah. And then you come here and you meet people. Hey, are you going to St. Lawrence Market tomorrow? Okay, I'll see you. Okay, good. And you meet up and you grab something. And you try a new cheese. Oh, remember that cheese you seen last night? No, yeah. Did you try it? Never. Let's try it together. Cool. Let's do it. Let's make a date. And that's the way it goes, okay? Let's see if I can get a footage for you guys up here. There's a little bit of a cut up right uh, Sorry, man, I'm just gonna take a video. And, uh, yeah, so, not the best angle. So, December 22nd, I think it closes at 4 p.m. today. So that's good, that's what it is. Coach Tannis, hope you enjoyed that. Lots of people to meet here, lots of food to eat. I'll go out from here. Okay, and then the beautiful day, so I'm just gonna show you. Because in the summertime, in the summertime, you can eat outside. Oh, they took away the, oh, there you go. Okay, so they're selling Christmas trees. <laughs> they're selling Christmas trees, which look really beautiful. And then, um, so there's usually, Picnic tables here, but the picnic tables are here and here, and it's a beautiful day, and you can see Toronto is so busy today, okay, that everybody's probably still home on their uh, internet. Uh, so basically, you go and grab some food with your friends, okay, like I said, and you come over here, and you eat like a person on the table, not in the subway, eating pastry and crimming up the floor so people can't sit, okay. 
and um, that's how it's done. Go inside, get some nice food, try something new. There's a world of food here, a world of flavor, okay? And you have to open up your self. Give me some color, man. Open up yourself to a whole new world of uh, foods, okay? Coach Tennis out. That was a real food or no food. Street food edition here at the St. Lawrence Market. And, um, and uh, how much is the tree, bud? Well, it depends on what you're looking for. Uh, that way? Well, uh, 75. 75? Today's your last day? Uh, Not no, open tomorrow. No, we're here right till Christmas Eve. Good for you. Okay, thank you. So right here for Christmas Eve. Is this open tomorrow? It is to open tomorrow. It is open tomorrow. Yeah, because I keep telling you guys it's closed on Sunday and Monday. Okay, so for the holiday season, it's going to be this holiday, Christmas holidays. Christmas is obviously on Wednesday. So this is usually closed on Sundays and Mondays, which is horrible. I wish it was open Monday. And I, they're, they're taking a vote on it this year. Okay, that's the building at the front. I'm going to cross the street and show you what the front looks like. Okay, that's the front. Okay, I think that's the original wall too because this building went on fire, I think, in the 1950s, I think. Anyway, there's a nice story about that. This used to be another building part of uh, the food pavilion, but they tore it down two years ago. Probably make a condo, what else would they make? And that's your uh, St. Lawrence Market, okay, from the outside. And upstairs, I believe, uh, well, there's offices upstairs, but I think there's also like a little small, uh, small art gallery and museum. So come here, guys. Support your local food growers, sellers, okay? And uh, at least you know where the money's going. I know a lot of people in there, okay? And you know a lot of people, a lot of family businesses, and the money stays here in Toronto, stays here in Toronto, Canada as opposed to shopping at your major corporations that are popping up everywhere and the money is going to who knows where, probably worse. Okay, so there you are. Real food or no food? Street food edition, St. Lawrence Market, Toronto, December, Merry Christmas. Come on down there, all right? All right, Coach Tanis out.